In this episode of Caps Chaps, Red Nation sits down with the man they call the Swiss Ronaldinho. Number 20, Davide Cumiento. With one goal and five assists in MLS this season, the diminutive playmaker has been a rare bright spot for the Whitecaps in what is becoming a trying first campaign in North America's top tier. I'm a player who goes on the field and tries to, en to enjoy and, and, and to, to play and uh, without thinking too much. And uh, yes, um, I go on the field and try always to give my best. And uh, my style, it's a little bit, I like to go one against one and play always ball on the ground with my, with my teammates and, uh, and, have, and play a good football. That's important. Until gets the glory, but Cumienzo makes it happen. He cuts inside with the ball. Look at this clever little up ball outside of the foot into the path of Dunfield. He should go across and shake Cumienzo's hand for setting that one up on a platter. It's a great run from Dunfield there and behind, but an equally impressive through ball from Cumienzo. I think for me, it's uh, it's the same. If I if I can score, it's okay. But for me, a, a good pass for a teammate, it's 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 from the same importance. So. I, I, uh, I, I like to play like this and my, I'm for sure I'm not the best top scorer but I, I like to give a lot of uh, assists and a lot of important balls and that's, that's my job and uh, I try to do it uh, um, best, best, uh, on the best way. Cubiento's football journey began in his native Switzerland, first playing for his hometown club FC Haydn before moving to the youth setup at FC St. Gallen. After nearly five years in the St. Gallen youth system, top European clubs started taking an interest. And in 2000, Cumiento made the move to Turin to play for the youth side of Italian giants Juventus. No, the youth system in Juventus, it's, it's, it's quite good. I, I learned so much and, uh, and the, the first two years uh, was, was very hard because uh, it's uh, it's really it's it's tough. It's you have a lot of other players. You must always uh, try to be the best in the training. And uh, and for me, with 19, when I came to the first team, that for me was a big a big step and was uh, was a great time. I learned a lot from the from the big players. And uh, yes, that's uh, that was an important time. All the players they have different qualities, but uh, the most important thing is that you see that these players they. They have big contracts and they win a lot, but they are always hungry. They want to always be the best. They want to always train a lot, and uh, it's incredible to see that uh, after after uh, so many titles that they they won, they are always two hours before the training there. One two hours after the training, they do some specific work, and that's that's incredible for me. They are really professional, and that's uh, that's, that's that's just incredible, and a lot of respect. Like many young players at Juventus, Cumiento struggled to get playing time. But while out on loan with BSC Young Boys, Cumiento impressed another Swiss club, FC Luzerne. It was here that Cumiento finally demonstrated his potential, helping the club qualify for the Europa League in his final season before moving to Vancouver. It was always uh, a little bit difficult because uh, Luzerne was, was not a big team in the league, so. Uh, for me, after a couple of hard years in, in other countries, I wanted just to go back and enjoy. And I had a, I had a, a trainer, who, a coach who, who gives me a lot there. And for me, was the most important thing was to play really a lot of games every season, like 30 games and 32 games. And that was important for me to come back. And uh, yes, biggest highlight was, I think, last year that uh, with Lucerne we qualified for the Europa, Europa League, and that was uh, was a big highlight for the for the club. And uh, I scored 11 or 12 goals, and that was a lot of assists, and that was for me a, a great year. Cumiento's impressive performances for Lucerne earned him a call up to the Swiss national side against Uruguay last year. It was a nice experience. I play a lot of games in the in the young national team. So after a lot of years, I uh, I could play the first game in the in the first national team. That was a great experience against a great team, Uruguay. And uh, yeah, it was good. Uh, just uh, my my goal was to go to the World Cup in South Africa, but uh, the coach uh, he he decided different. It was a little bit uh, disappointing for me, but uh, yeah, it was was a great experience and uh, nothing else. Now now for me it's important Whitecaps to play well here and then 
I, I'm still young, I'm 26, so I, I hope to do a lot of uh, good years now. I asked Davide if he felt playing in Major League Soccer would hurt his chances of Swiss coach Otmar Hitzfeld giving him another call-up for the national team. The problem is that in Switzerland I, I had never a lot of respect uh, because uh, with 19 I, 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 uh, I had a, a, a call from the Swiss national team but uh, I didn't go because I had two passports so my dream was always to play with Italy and when I was 19 my, my football situation was much different when I play in Juventus so I decided to, to don't play with the Swiss national team and after this moment in, in this, for the Swiss national team was always difficult for me to, to come back to play there. So um, I, I, I don't think too much about this. I, I try just to play well here and then, uh, yeah, we are here so far from Switzerland or from Europe, so I think it's difficult that they will uh, call players from here, but I'm, for me it's not a problem. Refereeing and team discipline have been key talking points this season. Davide explained the differences in officiating between MLS and Switzerland and touched on the Eric Asley sending off for removing his shirt while carrying a yellow card earlier this season. Here it's the football it's much harder and uh, the, the referees here let play much more. I think it's, it's okay like this, I prefer that we play more, that the referee don't uh, give too much fouls, that's okay. But uh, yeah, Eric... Uh, the first one, sure, was maybe a mistake, I don't know, from the referee, but the second one was his, uh, was his mistake uh, after the, the penalty that he scored. And uh, yes, he, from mistakes he will learn and, uh, and for, uh, for the team it's important that uh, Eric can play because he's, he's really important for us. Davide also discussed the differences in playing in North America compared to Europe and the importance of professionalism given the grueling nature of the MLS schedule. I think the biggest difference is that here we travel so much and uh, it's important the recovery and always to, to be ready, to be really professional outside the field. That's uh, I think the biggest uh, difference because uh, even in Italy or in Switzerland a lot of uh, games outside you can travel with, with the bus and uh, in Italy with fly but maybe just two hours. So from Vancouver to other cities, it's a, it's a long trip, but uh, yeah, we must be we must be ready, and uh, it's not uh, it's not an excuse. Team, but I think here the football it's a little bit faster than in Switzerland. It's it's for sure harder, and uh, in Switzerland we have a lot of uh, young young players and uh, good young players, and uh, and here it's different. A couple young players, a couple older players, but I think the the biggest the biggest difference it's really. The, the tempo and 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 here it's it's a lot it's harder. As for the differences in fan support, no, I think here it's more uh, a big uh, like a big party when the people here go go to the stadium they will just see a nice game and and, and see that uh, we give all on the field but uh, nothing fight or really problems they don't make problems in, in Europe or in Italy they are a little bit. Uh, too crazy because they, they they go to the stadium, but a lot of people they want just to to fight or to 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 make troubles, uh, and uh, that's that's not good. So uh, I I think here the supporters they they are really supporters, and that's uh, that's uh, that's important. Whitecaps coach Tater Torderson uses Kumiento as a winger in his system, but would he rather play in his natural role as a playmaker more centrally? That's a good question, but that's a question for the coach, not not for me. But uh, I I prefer to play in the middle. That's that's normal. But we don't know in this moment. We have a different different way to play, and uh, I will do my job. Given the slow start to the season, can the Whitecaps still make the playoffs? Yeah, it's, it's it's realistic because I think we have good qualities. But I think we must we must think of game to game. Because in football everything is possible and it's, uh, everything is about uh, work and, and have a good group. And I think we have a, we have a great group, a great, great persons in the group, uh, personalities and uh, a lot of different players from different countries. And, uh, and uh, the life in the group that's important, I think, that can make the difference. Because uh, in this league I don't see really uh, a team like Barcelona who is really better than, uh, than other teams so everything is possible and uh, a lot of good teams but I think uh, 
uh, all the teams are a little bit in the in the same uh, in the same level.